Hey y'all, welcome back to the DIY Entrepreneur's Reaction Show. I'm so glad you decided to tune in with me today. Go ahead and hit that like button and become a subscriber to the channel if you're not already a subscriber. I would really appreciate that. Today we're going to be reacting to another Shark Tank pitch, so let's check it out. Next up is a business designed to inspire the next generation of engineers and scientists. Hello Sharks, my name is Melissa Jawaharlal. And I'm Lavanya. We, we are, are sisters, sisters and co-founders of STEM Center USA. We are here today seeking $150,000 in exchange for 15% equity in our company. Just how the ABCs are the basis of communication. Engineering and technology are the foundation of our modern life. Can you imagine our world without cell phones, cars, or the internet? While we become more dependent on technology every day, fewer and fewer people seem to have even a basic understanding of how things work. That's why we created STEM Center USA. <laughs> STEM stands for science, technology, engineering, and math. We set up a creativity center for students from five years old all the way up to college to learn how to design, nice. build, and program. So Sharks, who's ready to excite the next generation of STEM leaders? Sound and like robots. Center to a location near you. Wow, you're so like right on. So in sync. <laughs> Do you guys talk like that normally? Are you yes, that we do. Like our <laughs> What's your background? Sure. So I'm, I just turned 21 years old. I'm going into wow. my senior year at UC Berkeley, and I'm studying mechanical engineering. I am just turned 23 years old. I graduated with a full scholarship from uh, USC studying mechanical engineering. Go girls! USC, I also worked on two uh, currently orbiting satellites. I served as a design lead. And prior to joining the center full time, I also worked at a defense, major defense contractor. That's pretty impressive. Very impressive. Business. So we are a supplemental education program. Our creativity center is based in Pomona, California. We have 85 students at our center. 75 of those students are yearly members. Five of them pay monthly and the rest are introductory How much six do they pay students. Annually? Our annual memberships range from $1,400 to $1,800, depending on the class. Dang, $1,400? For a yearly membership. What's the monthly? They pay an average of $135 on a monthly basis. In addition, we also offer after-school programs to local schools. What's revenue going to be this year? We had $300,000 in revenue last year. This was broken into two revenue streams. We have our creativity center. This brought in $130,000. In addition to that, as we were working with students, we identified gaps in the market for robotics tools. Specifically, we created a robotic product for upper middle school and high school students. Is we that ran the box there? Kickstarter campaigns, correct? That brought in $170,000 in sales. I actually remember this from Kickstarter. It was really you successful. Mm. I'm, a, well, I'm a Kickstarter investor, so I pay a lot of attention to the stuff that, that inflects their and this got a lot of attention. Look, I, I'm looking at this thing with a, wow. lot of a lot of spokes on it. And I don't think the wheel's turning yet in full circle because you have a lot of opportunity and I don't really see what direction you're gonna go yet. I would have preferred if this had been a little more gelled so that I could have seen something I could just pour my gasoline onto in the form of capital to expand it. I don't think you're there yet. I think it's way mm. too early for an investor, at least for me. I'm out. Thank you, Mr. Wonderful, for your thoughts. Look, it may not matter to this soulless capitalist over here, but <laughs> I'm I'm raising a couple of girls, and uh, you know, yeah. and I'm in an industry that's just dominated by men. The technology industry is completely devoid of women, and so I'm curious. I get a hint that there's something really deeply mission-driven behind you guys. We are huge yeah, nerds, so and we are nerds that want to share that passion with other students, specifically for girls, young girls that get told. Being nerdy isn't cool. We want to change that, and that starts from the bottom. Melissa, you're, you guys are incredibly polished, but I see a lot of work, yeah. and I don't think it's as easy to scale as uh, as I wish it was. Look, I'm excited about you guys. I'm not as excited about the business. I'm out. Thank you. Guys, you want to grow, and you have this magnificent goal, but. You're, you're a little bit too open-ended for me. I think taking those first steps are going to be very difficult and require a lot of hand-holding. I still think you'll be successful. I just don't think it's the right fit for me, so for those reasons, I'm out. Wow! How impressive are these ladies? And you see how these men are just going in, out, left, and right? 
what's that about? Now, I understand they're young. I understand that they're just getting started. But even Chris has said something about the uptick in their Kickstarter because he watches things like that. And it's great mission driven. It is so great mission driven wise. You know, they have, you have a bunch of, you have a couple of smart women right here and they're looking to bring more women into the deal or into this industry. I don't understand what the problem is. They've worked with other entrepreneurs that they know that they will have to do some hand holding. So make the equity reflect on that. Not don't butcher them. But still, they're just not even given enough thought to even want to partner with them. That's that's kind of offensive, but I won't get on my soapbox. I mean, you just got to be blind not to see potential in what they're pitching and the potential of having someone on their team like this. I mean, I don't, I, I'm missing it. I'm missing it. But let's go. Let's keep let's keep going. Thank you, Mr. Well, you still have two sharks. You've got Lori and you've got Chris. Uh, for me, I think a lot of the challenges here really go back to valuation because this is a business that doesn't have the traditional scale of a tech company. That said, I deeply believe in your mission. I think schools are going to start waking up and realizing they need more of this in the schools. They're going to be reaching out to you. There is a big thirst for materials like this. So. What I'd like to do is offer you 150k for 25 percent of the company. Come on, Chris. We I do have the utmost respect for that offer, and we do appreciate it, um, and we would love to consider it. We do believe. <laughs> <laughs> wow, well, Melissa, do you need to consider it? We do believe that a one million dollar valuation is fair. So how do I get that money back then? When is this thing? You know, are you going to sell Good this? Question. Does it get bought by by some massive conglomerate? I mean, where do we get that money back? So our projections for this year is four hundred fifty thousand dollars. For our twenty sixteen projection, we are looking at three point mil three point two million dollars in sales. So if you're investing one hundred fifty thousand dollars for twenty five percent, you want your one hundred fifty thousand back within a year or two. And so if you Not have necessarily, a I mean, I've owned Twitter stock since two thousand seven, and it turns out it's gone up a lot since I invested. I've owned Uber stock since two thousand nine. That's gone up a lot. I don't need my money back in a year and a half. I, I, I have the money to spare. Uh, that said, I want to know what the terminal event is for this company. I want to know what the exit is. There are certain founders who will never sell. And as an equity investor, that's a bummer because I want to get that money back and more at some point. Our vision in terms of the business itself is to have a STEM center in every city. As we grow, um, if we are able to find someone who's interested to take that forward, absolutely we would be interested. Melissa, do you have a counter for Chris? I have something to share. Come on, Lori. Three sharks are out. Chris has made an offer, but Lori might also be interested in Melissa and Lavanya's science, technology, engineering, and math education company, STEM Center USA. Go on, Melissa, girl. Do you have a counter for Chris? I have something to share. Here's the thing. Come I'd on, like Lord. to hear a counter because I love Lori I, and I have deep respect for her QVC and retail connections, but that's not what we're talking about here. And so I think I have a unique skill set to bring to the table with you guys, and so I'd love to hear what you're coming back with. I just want to share something. Oh, come a on. A personal anecdote about I... what STEM means to you? Because I would, I would listen to that. I would listen to that. About a robot you built when you were eight just, years old, I would totally just hear like that. Just like Kevin. Oh, my come on. Oh, my just like Kevin, I'm part Woo! of a very exclusive and prestigious club. <laughs> I'm a woman. <laughs> I see in you guys something that I think is really, really important to women. I think both of you are extremely impressive. They are. I like what you're doing. I like the concept, and I like what it will do for young women. Hey, so I'm going to make you an offer, because I think the three of us together will be very, very successful. I'm going to offer you 150000 for 20%. Thank you so much, Ms. Grenier. It's a pleasure to, to get an offer from you as well. Um, we are here to grow our business and... What problem are you trying to solve? What do you need from a shark? We need assistance in expanding the center through franchise and we need that capital investment to do the documentation to take this to the next level. That's what's restricting us from duplicating currently. So what I didn't hear you say is, I need a spot on QVC, I need an infomercial, I need an end cap at a Bed Bath & Beyond. 
Chris keep on coming for my girl Lori. I'm gonna need him to back down, dude. For real. Like trying to put her in this little pigeonhole. Like stop it. Okay. Oh, child. Yeah, I know that I do. That's crazy. You guys know that. You've done your homework. Both of you offer yeah. a lot of wonderful She's an things. inventor. We product line. We have a center. We are working to expand both, and I know that both of you can help us with that. What we'd love to do is work with both of you. At the 25%, Chris don't see I'm the value. I'm to share because I see merit to both of us. I see where I can take Chris it, but don't. I also think that Chris can bring merit. If Chris is willing to accept my hand. Look, you're willing to hand. share because you're swimming in my wake. No, that's not. You know that's what I can bring. It's free money for Lori. You're, you're, and so you're, that's why you're willing oh, to share wow, it. Oh, wow, wow. All right. I think the equity is going to be worth money. That's disrespectful. You willing to go in because you swimming in my lake. <gasps> the audacity, Chris. And I don't want to share it. I want it to be worth my time. And so I want to have a big enough commitment to the company that when you guys call, I get that much more excited. When we ultimately do sell this for a billion dollars, I want to have some skin in the game. I want to own a lot more of this company. Mm. My offer, I'll repeat. When we it's sell it, thousand at twenty percent, and I'll be there with you, Chris, side by side, I'll come every down step to of the way. Fifty k for twenty two and a half percent. Would either of you do two hundred thousand dollars for twenty percent? Two hundred, Lori. I would. Lori, we'd love I to believe work that you. with you, Lori. Thank, Thank you, so you so much, Mr. Saka. Whoa. Okay, cheers. Listen, when you get what you ask for, go ahead and seal the deal. And I think they like the merit in Lori's whole pitch saying with the woman, you know, being on a woman exclusive team. Listen, I don't like all the shade that Chris was throwing to my girl Lori. That was so disrespectful. You know, just kind of pigeonholing her into this whole QVC and retailing spot. Oh, that was disrespectful, you know. And if he's going to be talking about women and talking to women like that, and that's their target market, maybe he wasn't a good partner for the deal anyway, even though he got the money. And this is what he do. He like to, you know, invest in new businesses and, and Kickstarter type business. He loves to do that. And he has seen his return on that. But if that's the attitude that he was going to have toward women, he shouldn't have been on the board. No way. He shouldn't have been part of the deal. No way. So I'm so glad they ended up going with Lori. But here's the deal. And so they asked for more money. They countered for more money. And so they came into the tank asking for 150k for 15% equity. And then they count one of their counters was uh, was anybody willing to do the 200k for 20%. Lori was already at the 20%. And so she said she would do it. They waited a couple of seconds just to kind of, you know, give Chris his respect and then said that they were going to do the deal with Lori. So I'm so glad they did that. Again, this was back in 2015. And so I'm going to do some research and give some links to some articles that give us an update on what they're doing now in 2022. So make sure you check out the description for those links. But I really do hope that this deal panned out good and that it it was very beneficial to both of them, you know. But thank you guys so much for tuning in and staying until the end. I really do appreciate it. Make sure you hit that like button and become a subscriber to the channel if you like this content. And make sure you check us out for the next ones. Thank you, Lori. Uh, you can do anything. Yeah, thank you. Good luck, guys. Thank you, Thank you everyone. Good luck, guys. Congratulations. So, Lori, you're really sticking it to Chris. <laughs> no, I'm not. <laughs> we didn't take Chris's offer because Lori gave us an offer with absolutely no hesitation and 200% belief in what we do. To work with a female like Lori, who is such a strong role model in tech, in sales, in everything, is a dream.